kicked off its 15th and final season in one of East Tennessee's own, is already headed to Hollywood. Laurel Wright joining us now. She has her golden ticket to Hollywood, and we're really excited to have you in studio. Of course, you're no stranger to us or to American Idol. You're quite the trooper. We were just talking. This was your uh, third year auditioning on American Idol. Yes, this is the third year, and hopefully it'll be the farthest that I've made it. So. Yeah. Well, talk about that. Uh, what keeps you coming back and, and auditioning for this reality show? Um, I, the exposure was really great the first two years, so um, I'm just really hoping that I could get that same exposure, if not more, this year. Yeah, of course we can't reveal how you do on, on this journey with American Idol, but let's talk about your past experiences. You've uh, performed in front of all three judges all three years, same yeah. judges, right? Yeah. So that was sort of like good for me because they remembered me. Mm -hmm. You know, I walked in the room, they were like, you look familiar. I'm like, yeah, it's my third time. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, Harry Conant Jr., Keith Urban. Yeah. Have they given you pieces of advice over the last three years that have really stuck? I guess um, just be confident and full of energy. And I guess I've sort of lacked the confidence, but I felt like this year I felt really, really good about my audition. So hopefully it'll get me further in the competition. Yeah, talk about past experiences in Hollywood. What's that part of the show and the competition like? It's really crazy. I've um, been through Hollywood Week twice, and so I'm going to go a third time again. And it is, like, the past two times have been the most stressful weeks of my entire life. It's just, when I get home, I just sleep for days. Your dad's here with you tonight, and he says he gets lots of tearful phone calls when you're out in Hollywood. It's very stressful. I imagine so, so, but you're currently living in the Music City, uh, part of a country duo, Young Fables, yes. with your boyfriend, Wesley Lunsford, also from East Tennessee? Yes. Uh, we've been, he's been, he was my guitar player for about two and a half years, and then when I moved to Nashville, he was like, I want to be a part of what you do, so we started the Young Fables not too long ago. It's something that we've been working on for a while, and our um, album release is February 6th at The Shed, so we're really excited about that. That's wonderful, and you've already released two singles, right? Yes. Where can people find the music? Um, if you go to theyoungfables.com, you can find everything there. Talk about making the decision to move from Mirable to Nashville. A lot of people say if you want to take this seriously, a career in music, you have to move to Nashville or country music. Yeah, and it's true. A lot of people go back and forth, but, man, you really got to be there to do the thing, you know? But that's hard work. I mean, talk about day in, day out, the grind of trying to get your music out there in Nashville. Yeah, um, if you don't play for a couple of days and then you come back to a venue that you've played, you know, a week before, you know, there's... 10 more people that you haven't seen. There's just constantly people moving there trying to do the same thing that you're doing. So if you're not on top of it, then you know people want to come and take your place. Well, you're doing well. We're so proud of you. I know we've interviewed you several times <laughs> of the last three or four years. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys so much. You're continuing with your music, and we're just glad to always catch up with you yeah. and support you. And we're excited about this third journey on American Idol, the Hollywood portion coming up. Yeah. So we'll certainly keep our fingers crossed and wish you the very best. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on and thanks to your dad for bringing it tonight. <laughs> we appreciate it. Providing moral support. Yes. Did you get your singing ability from him? Um, da -da -da. Did I get my singing ability from you? <laughs> That's a story for another day. All right. Great to see you. Good best to see you too. Thank you so much. You. All right. Robin, we'll send it back over to you. Beth, thank you. We will be cheering Laurel on for sure as she continues on American Idol. All right, we want to talk about.